Well, Tracy, we're here on West 6 and St. Clair, a big bar and restaurant area in downtown Cleveland. And typically on a Saturday evening, it would be much busier. But we spoke to Carrie Zakis, the Uber driver, who says that she typically would make a good amount of money driving people to and from areas like this. But with COVID restrictions and also people just afraid of getting sick, she's giving out a lot less rides than usual. Zakis started driving for Uber at the end of last January in the Youngstown area. She says taking people to bars and restaurants became her bread and butter, but that all changed when the state shut down in March. I know a lot of drivers took off time. I took a little bit of time off, but not too long. I don't even think I took a month off. Um, because it was like one of my main incomes. With the statewide alcohol curfew and a stay at home advisory in effect, the bar scene isn't what it once was, and many are skipping rideshare services altogether because of COVID concerns. Now, Zakis says most of her passengers are people going to and from work, and hardly any of those passengers are tipping, which she says drivers really count on to make the rides worth their time. So she's urging the community to support them if they can like you do have the opportunity to maybe go to a small gathering you know have the opportunity to well, like that you should take an uber like definitely do it like don't don't risk your life don't risk other people's life drinking and driving and it's definitely if you can tip your driver because we really <clears throat> rely on that now, to add to that, Zakis also says that she has received supplies from Uber, like masks and also sanitizing wipes, and that she and other drivers do take their passenger safety seriously, and they are taking the proper steps to keep their vehicles clean. Live in Cleveland, Jade Jarvis, News 5. Jade, thank you.